Hey, you got the captain. Captain Fuzzy here, and I am updating my how to install a model in Source Filmmaker video because I made the original one uh, quite a while ago, and I've learned that the information that I gave in the original one is actually wrong. So, I'm going to redo it, and this is going to show you the correct way to install a model from some place like SFM Lab in Source Filmmaker. So, what I've done is I've already downloaded this model right here, this SOTD monster here, um, from the game Shadows of the Damned. Um, he's pretty creepy, and I could use him in, uh, you know, some posters or some animations at some point. So, at any rate, I've downloaded the model already, so now what we need to do is get the model into Source Filmmaker. So the first step here is to go to where I downloaded the model, which I have a folder for stuff like that. And in here, in all these zip files here, someplace is my model. There he is. So let's extract him. Yes, win rare, go away. You're being a jerk. Okay, let's extract that. And close this. And somewhere up here, there he is, right there. Now we'll open up this. These are the two folders that we need to be concerned about. Sometimes you'll find other ones that will come with it, like Lua or something like that. Don't worry about those. Uh, Source Filmmaker doesn't use those, and so there's nothing to be concerned about with that. All we need is materials and models, and that's what we've got here. So let's select both of those folders, right-click, and let's hit Copy. Now, we need to put them in Source Filmmaker, so let's go to C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game. Now, uh, in the old way of doing things, which my original video told you how to do it the old way, we would throw this in the user mod folder. Bad idea. If you throw it in here, it's a lot harder to figure out what a problem, the root of a problem is, if it comes up in Source Filmmaker. Um, if you make your own custom folders, like I have here for Star Trek, Star Wars, stuff like that, a custom folder, uh, then if you have a problem, it's a lot easier to track down where it is because you'll have a separate folder to look in. If everything goes in the user mod folder, then you're going to have to search through all of this crap in this folder just to try and figure out what the heck the problem is. So it's better to do it this way. And it's really easy, too. So here's how you create a custom folder for use in Source Filmmaker. First, we would need to make a new folder. Then we need to name it something. Since this guy's a monster, I'm going to name the folder Monsters. And that's where I'm going to put the files by right-clicking and hitting Paste. So now, if I open this up, I've got the Materials and Models folder in there where it belongs. So, I now have a custom folder in Source Filmmaker. But we're not done yet, because right now, Source Filmmaker cannot read that folder. It doesn't know that it exists. So, what we need to do is go to our library. We need to go to software, because Source Filmmaker is not a game. It's software. We need to right-click and hit Launch SDK. Now... We need to go to Edit Search Paths for Selected Mod and click on that. Now you'll have this little window open up here, and these are all custom mod folders. Our new folder is probably going to be down here near the bottom someplace. Doo, doo, doo. Yep, there it is. 
Now, as you can see, it's unchecked. There's a couple of them here I have that are unchecked because I'm actually not done organizing my models yet. But anyway, since I just made this new one, in order for Source Filmmaker to see it, we got to put a check mark next to it. So that's what I do. Click OK and close this, and now we're done. Now we just fire up Source Filmmaker and load our model up. And any of you that are familiar with Source Filmmaker knows that eh, sometimes it takes a couple of minutes to load up. Uh, in the meantime, if you happen to hear some buzzing in the background, I apologize. I've got fans running because it's extremely hot here. So much so that my AC unit is having a little bit of a difficult time keeping up with it. But, um, it, you know, it's like somebody opened the gates of hell in, in my little studio here. But anyway, let's open up my model test session. Now, this will take a second or two to load up. A uh, good thing to, to do once this loads up, here we go. Once it loads up, whenever you're loading a model for the first time, it's a good idea to come down here to your console over here and enter the command clear. That way, any errors that pop up will now be related strictly to the model itself and no, no, nothing else. So now let's go to New Model. And there's our Monsters folder, so that's a good thing. And we are scanning. So we're going to let Source Filmmaker do its thing. It'll scan through some stuff and eventually it will locate the model. Ticky, ticky, ticky. <laughs> and it should be finding it here just about any time now. I have a lot of folders that it has to scan through. So, yep, there it is. There's our mo monster there. And, oh crap. We seem to have a wee bit of an issue. We have the monster, but his textures are messed up. Well... Let's go ahead and open him for right now, because we're gonna, uh, you're gonna get a bonus here. I'm gonna show you how to fix stuff like this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put him. Oops, we need to be in the motion editor. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and set him to default, and then I'm gonna enter the number nine zero. Turn him to face the camera. Okay, there we go. Now, we got to look in our Monsters folder here. Let's scroll this over. Um, hmm. Okay, Material, Models. Okay, it says that the skins are not found. Hmm. Well, let's go look. Okay. Let's go in here to the Monsters folder and look in the Materials folder. And yes, the skins are there, so why is it not working? Uh huh. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, uh, I think I see what the problem is. Okay, let me show you something here. Um, notice that this is Models, but this only says Material. Not. If you look in any of these other folders, even the, these ones, it's materials. Uh, look in this one, materials. Uh, let's look in Day of Defeat, materials. Ah, you see some consistency there. When this person made this model, they goofed. They did not name the folder correctly. So, let's fix that. We're going to rename the folder by simply adding an S on the end of it. Now, let's go back to Source Filmmaker and let's, let's type in Matt. Re 
reload all materials and hit enter and it doesn't look like that did anything for it okay well wait a minute it's still doing something it's still thinking so let's give it a second and that doesn't seem to have fixed it so what we need to do is is delete the model and let's try pulling it back in again I probably shouldn't have went ahead and spawned it ah yes there we go so now there he is we fixed the textures so now we'll just go ahead and reposition him and there we go there's our there's our creepy old monster right there and he's now working in Source Filmmaker so there you go you just got a bonus that's one way of fixing missing textures you have to look at stuff and see what in the world's going on now supposedly he's got several different skins here I don't know those don't appear to do anything there may be another problem with the skin somewhere else so I'm not gonna worry about the skins for now um, but anyway there you go there's your model and he works in Source Filmmaker so that is how you import and get a model to work in Source Filmmaker and with that you got the captain Captain Fuzzy and I am out of here